pretty long day. What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J. That was awkward. <laughs> the last couple of days have been pretty hectic and the reason being is because the company I work at put on a hackathon. They call it a code jam, but I just call it a hackathon because that's what people are familiar with. And it was in partnership with IBM and we had to use IBM cloud technology and integrate it into an app that we created. And instead of it being 48 hours or 24 hours like a typical hackathon is, it was only the workday for two days. So about 16 hours, maybe a little bit less considering the fact that we have presentations around 2 p.m. today and we started around 8 or 9 a.m. But I digress. Been a pretty busy, pretty busy person the last few days. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about unboxing this new 16 inch Micro Pro that I got. And let me tell you, it's been long overdue for me to get a computer that has the specs that this laptop has. The reason being is because my last year of college I had a MacBook Air. I'm not even gonna go there and tell you how bad of an experience that was. And MacBook Air is a great reliable computer, but it's not great for power users like myself. And then I got a refurbished 13, uh, <laughs> I got a 13 inch MacBook Pro that was refurbished. And the reason being is because I don't want to spend a ton of money and I just wasn't impressed with the laptops at that time. And that was, you know, probably like six months before the new 16 inch came out. But let's talk about the 16 inch. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to unbox this thing at. This monitor is kind of in the way, but I guess this mount helps. I think we could do it right here. Now we're situated. I know it's really late for an unboxing, but how could you not do an unboxing? You get a new MacBook, right? One thing that never gets old is the Apple unboxing experience. I love that Apple doesn't overlook the importance of product delivery and the unpackaging or unboxing experience. I had to throw in a card again because I'm just getting a little nippy in here. It's officially time to take the laptop out of the box. Wow, this thing is huge. And make sure you get it. For the 16 inch, you actually get this 96 watt charging base, opposed to, I don't know what the 15 inch one is, I can't remember. But I know that the 13 inch that I had was like 61 watts. And obviously, this thing needs a lot more power. And of course, the two meter in length. USB type C charger and some packaging. The 16 inch laptop that I decided to get is the 2.3 gigahertz eight core processor with one terabyte storage and the AMD Radeon Pro 5500M. I will say that since I've been using the 15 inch, I think 2018 model, I'm not sure which model it is, but it's definitely the 2016 or yeah, 2016 to early 2019, 15 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar. I've been using that the last couple months because of work. And I will say if I was doing this unboxing about four months ago before I started my new job, I'd have been a lot more excited because it was, it's funny, I hadn't, ever really used a 15 inch MacBook Pro 
um, before I started my new job. Needless to say, I'm very excited to use this laptop. It's a lot more powerful than my work laptop, but I thought I'd just say that. I don't know why, but I'm definitely very blessed to be able to afford a device like this. Now, one thing I've noticed is that typing on this thing is so nice. This typing experience is great. The keys feel so responsive. They're not as flat. Apple went back to that scissor style keyboard and ditch that butterfly keyboard. I'm hoping they do the same thing for the 13 inch. <sighs> this feels great. See, it's the little things that Apple does that keeps customers purchasing their laptops, even though they could spend 25% less on laptops that are great. It's just that you tr you just trust Apple. And I think the, the new keyboard, they listen to their customers, thank you. The new keyboard, the huge trackpad, the unboxing experience, the customer service, the Apple store makes you feel comfortable. You feel like you're investing in a product that is gonna last you a long time. I didn't get the 32 gigabytes of RAM and I have 15 days to return this if I decide that I want to, but I just didn't think it was worth spending that much money for 32 gigabytes of RAM. But I did get one terabyte of storage, as I mentioned earlier, which will help me a lot, especially when it comes to the 4K editing. So I won't really need my external hard drive uh, unless I wanna use it to back up videos, back up footage, which is what I would like to use it for. But I, the i9, I think, will help me when it comes to that processing power with 4K video editing and programming with Xcode. and doing things in Node, with Node.js and NPM, Angular apps, React apps, progressive web applications. I just feel confident that this device will not, what am I trying to say? This device won't be a hurdle I have to jump to create. And um, we won best presentation at the hackathon. So we got this JBL Clip three. I guess I could like clip this to my book bag, which I think that's that's a nice feature because I like to I like to hoop. I like to play basketball a lot, and um, I never want to lug around my Bluetooth speaker. But I love, love, love when music is playing in the background while I'm hooping. It just allows me to get a rhythm. But this is really really cool. This is not sponsored by JBL. JBL, if you all are watching, hit me up, Let, let's collab. Yeah, this thing is literally literally like a little, a little bit smaller than my palm. It's like the size of my palm. Look at this thing. This is great. I can put it in my book bag. It always, I could always carry it around with me. Sometimes in an office we play music, especially on Fridays, feeling, feeling funky. Why did, I say, why did I say that? I never say that in person. Gotta be more authentic. This is this is actually really nice. I'd never buy this, if I'm being honest. I'd never buy this unless I went on hikes more, which I plan on doing during the summer, so this came right on time. But it's actually really nice build quality. Like, this doesn't feel cheap at all. Okay, back to the MacBook. An interesting thing my friend said to me was, didn't you just get a new laptop? And I thought that was funny because I did, but the thing is that 13 inch just wasn't powerful enough. Like when I would run Xcode and try to do other things, maybe do a little bit of Xcode and video editing. Some people would say, why would you do both at the same time? I would say, why not? But also if I'm spending money on a laptop, especially north of a thousand dollars, you would think that you could do both of those things, especially if your laptop isn't a 15 or 16 inch. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. All right, I'm about to set up this dark theme. Yeah, look at that. Select an appearance, auto. So I guess auto changes it to dark mode when it's light outside and light mode when it's dark. I don't know. I'm gonna just go with the dark theme. Laptop is all set up now. And as you can tell, this isn't a very technical video. Um, I'll drop a more technical review of this 16 inch MacBook Pro, one terabyte 
i9 processor. I'll drop something like that later on, maybe after a couple weeks or a week, or maybe a month of usage. I don't think it'll take me too long to release a video about the technicalities of this device, just considering the fact that I've already used MacBook, MacBooks in the past and Apple products in the past, so I kind of know how they work. Um, but I'm gonna focus more so on how this will make my day-to-day -day life and running my YouTube business a lot easier and working on passion projects a lot easier. But I'm already really excited about this 16 inch display. All right, so the next thing that I need to do is I need to hook this up to my Dell U2717D monitor so I can edit this video and get it up in the morning on Saturday. Guys, I never do that, never. But I'm motivated and I'm actually, I'm so pumped to see how fast I can edit this video and I can actually scrub footage, I could scrub 4K footage without having to render it and I can export a 4K video that's 10 minutes long in less than in two hours. All right, this laptop's big. So I'm either gonna have to get a longer desk, which I definitely need, but I think I'm gonna get a laptop stand or like dock that I could put maybe over here just because I don't wanna block the view of this monitor. I don't know if I could, yeah, I can't lift this up vertically. I got this all set up, it's time to video edit so I can get this video out in the morning because during the weekends, early bird gets the worm. Thank you Jesus for this laptop, in all seriousness you all, like I'm so grateful. I don't take big purchases like this lightly and I'm gonna keep reminding myself, this is a business investment. I keep telling myself that, business investment. But with that being said, that concludes this video. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it at all. Give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and comment down below some of your thoughts. If you have the MacBook Pro 16 inch like myself, comment down below some of the specs that you all have. And if you all wanna see more videos like this, share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. And as always, stay blessed. I will see you all next week. Peace.